reading from the Gospel according to Luke. The disciples of John reported all these things to him. And so John the Baptist summoned two of his disciples and sent them to the Lord to ask, Are you the one who is to come, or are we to wait for another? And when the men had come to him, they said, John the Baptist has sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come? Are we to wait for another? Jesus had just then cured many people of diseases, plagues, and evil spirits, and had given sight to many who were blind. And he answered them, Go and tell John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive their sight, the lame walk, the lepers are cleansed, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, the poor have good news brought to them, and blessed is anyone who takes no offense at me. The Word of the Lord. We will probably, all of us, have a crisis of faith or two in our time. I know I've had several. Moments where ah, I've struggled with doubts. Moments where I know, I know the passages of the scripture and I trust in Jesus with all my heart, but I struggle. Maybe you have experienced that, or if you haven't, you, you probably will at some point in your life. And when I hear this passage, it reminds me that even in the midst of those doubts, when it's a struggle, it's an opportunity to look back and remember, where have we already seen Jesus at work in our lives? You see, John the Baptist, he knows that Jesus is the Messiah. He knows he's the king that they've been waiting for. The king may not necessarily always be taking the form that you expect or, or want in the moment, at the moment. But in the midst of his struggling and he sends people to, to find out, Jesus, I, I think I believe you. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure I do, but I'm struggling here. I'm in doubt. Are you really the person that that I need you to be in this moment. And what he is called to do is look and see. Where has Jesus already been at work? Do you really need to wonder and continue to, to, to doubt when, when, if you ask yourself, you can trust God's been present. Jesus has been present there for you. If you can see where Jesus has been present before, trust that Jesus is present now. In that way, it reminds me in the moments where I'm struggling with doubt that I can look back and I can see clear signs of where God has been at work in the world. In my life, in the lives, the lives of people around me, I can stop and, and pause and remember that in seeing those clear signs of where Jesus was at work in my world before, maybe I can trust. Maybe I can trust. It doesn't take my doubts away, but even in the midst of times when I'm struggling with doubt, I can trust that if Jesus was present before, Jesus is present now. If Jesus was my king before, he is my king now and will be forever and ever. I believe that Jesus' kingship is something that can transcend and withstand even our frail moments of doubting. I'm not worried of where Jesus will come out in it, and I invite you not to worry as well. It's okay to be who you are and to be struggling where you're struggling. And perhaps when you're recognizing that you're struggling, to look back and, and see those times where you know God was there. For this example, for this little reminder for all of us, I lift up thanks be to God. Amen.